Hot I was hand. meant to be researching you backstage, but I got bored, so I drew a picture of you instead. <laughs> but I did it. I did it from memory. I think that's pretty good from memory. Oh, and brilliant. you'll see, I gave I gave Jane a sly look. She's looking sly. Very yeah. pert bosoms. I'm Everyone, very pleased with that. Everyone's got pert bosoms because I, I draw the world I want it to be, not the way it is. <laughs> Mine are actually a bit droopy there. <laughs> well, like well, you say droopy. I still think perfect. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, thank you. Do you dye your hair? Just look no. at your roots. No, I'm glad you mentioned that. It drives me crazy. I'm 58 in November. I don't dye my hair. If I was going grey and I dyed my hair, I'd tell everyone, I don't really care what I look like. I look OK. I don't look great, but I don't look terrible. Um, but I wouldn't... If I was dying... I'd, and people, after I do my show, I see on Twitter and they go, oh, he's been at the Just For Men again, or <laughs> he's gone a bit dark. And last night, I was recording the show for this week, and Ray Winston was on, and oh. Ray's gone a bit grey, and he looks amazing. Ray is such a handsome man, such a yeah. good He went, yeah, John, you've been dying your hair, haven't you? I said, Ray, I haven't. He made me prove it to him by showing him hair on another part of my body. <laughs> we got you! I, sh I showed him. He had to have a sit-down afterwards. <laughs> and to to him. But he can, he can now... Anyone wants to know if I dye my hair, ask Ray Winston. He'll tell you the truth. <laughs> Unusual though, isn't it, to get to our age? We're about the same age. Yeah, we're 50. You're 58, 58 already. already 58 already, yeah, yeah. And but to have no grey hair. No, well, he's got, got a few little, 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 little bits. Little bits. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you know, I don't care if it goes grey. It goes grey. As long as I went. I mean, if all four of you, are you all grey? No, I've okay, got, I'm completely yeah. grey. Right, well, if, you, if you did all go grey and none of you died, it would look like four pigeons presenting the show. It would look a bit weird. I think if I went like a silver grey or a snow white, be lovely. But you can go when you see people yeah. they've gone a kind of matte battleship grey. Yeah. I think yeah. I would probably zizz that up you a bit. Love yeah. Now your show started last Saturday, yeah. 13th series. Uh, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? That's amazing. Yeah, it's gone by very quickly. It's got so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's great fun to do. That's why I still do it. And it's weird because we don't do as many as we used to. We used to do a chunk at the beginning of the year, a chunk at the end of the year. And ITV changed their schedule. And first of all, I thought, oh, I'm not doing as you know, and you want to be working. But now I love it. Because I've got what's great is when you're not working, but you know you've got work coming yeah, up. Yeah. That's a nice yeah. feeling. But the thing is, and then when I'm not working, I get bored of working. As soon as I'm working again, I thought, oh man, I wish I wasn't working. You know, so it's <laughs> what like. What do you like to do when you're not just like lying around? I stay, my wife and I were talking about this the other day because she's just taken on this huge job. Her career, she's, she's so successful at the moment. Yeah, and she's, she's so talented, isn't she? She's yeah. super talented, so Beautiful. hard working, yeah, all those lovely things. And but she was getting up and she said, Why did I agree to do this? Because basically we just want to lie in the bed together <laughs> watching crap TV yeah. <laughs> with our iPads out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I more or less live in stretchy pyjama pants now. I even got, <laughs> I got my office in them. I was wandering around the other day, I was wandering on the street and someone looked at me funny and I realised I had slippers on, pyjama <laughs> on, I had, like, egg stains on my shirt. <laughs> my dog was better turned out than I was. So okay. you kind of just get comfortable. I've yeah. done your show twice. The first time me and Paulie never did live telly was yes. when birds came out yeah. and that we were so petrified going on, but oh. you were very nice to us. Well, you were amazing. And then the second time was a couple of years ago when birds came back on television yeah. and I just remember telling this story story on there. I don't know if you remember Was this it. the bag of poo story? It was the bag whenever, of poo Wherever story. I think of Linda, I always think of a bag, bag of poo of now. Poo. I know, that's what I remind <laughs> you of. Uh, can I just quickly tell everyone what happened? Um, so I was at home and my, my dog George was um, a puppy at the time and I was in bed and I could smell this terrible smell. So I went downstairs to see what it was and the dog had pooed everywhere down there. So I quickly cleaned it up and I put it into a Selfridges carrier bag. Come out in my nightdress, was checking no one was around because there was a skip across the road and you know you're not allowed to use other people's skips. So I went to sneak over there to put the dog's poo in it Someone drove past, punched me in the face and grabbed the bag of dog's poo. <laughs> <laughs> I got love for a bag of dog's poo. I mean... And, that, and that's what's so brilliant about your show. There doesn't really ever... Anybody could say anything. <laughs> and I think that I think that's why we continue to love it. Well, you know, it's... you try and make it a little different. Because the thing is, even since when I first started, but if you think back to what we think of as maybe the golden age of talk shows, like when Parky was first doing it in the 70s, he'd get people like David Niven, Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly, he'd have those greats on. Uh, but, and we get the big stars now as well. But back then, you didn't see them everywhere. No, they yeah. Weren't, they, weren't, they often never. didn't give newspaper no. interviews even. They weren't, there weren't that many shows on TV. There was no YouTube. It was pre-internet, of course. So you never saw them. So when you saw something like that, yeah. it was the only chance you got to see them. Mm. Now, of course, the world has changed so much, mm. it's never going to be that mm. way. So, so you have to try and do something say. different. Yeah, there's yeah. Rare, there are rarely... There's a handful of guests you get that haven't been... We had Ronaldo, the footballer, on a couple of series ago, and I'd never seen him do an interview in this country before, and he was a very nice man. But, you know, there are very few people you get... So you're right, you have to find an angle. Or, and also, the sort of show I'm doing now, it's not really a talk show which is about uh, getting to the depth of personality, finding about the problems in life. We do cover some of those topics, but really it's about trying to create... It's a Saturday night entertainment yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. Trying to create a fun atmosphere yeah. and have everyone join in so that people well, are having a nice time as well. That's what always comes across. Do you get... Nervous before a show? Not really. I mean, I get nervous during the show sometimes. Because sometimes, really? a, yeah, because sometimes a guest will come out and 
they're either either I can't seem to find the right chemistry to get the best out of them, yeah. or they have sometimes they misjudge the audience and they'll say something and you'll sense the audience are thinking, oh, well, they're being yeah. a bit grand or they're being a bit yeah. off, and you think, oh, I've got to try and make sure that they know that the audience will like them, but just get them back on the right. So but sometimes I mean, dinner party goes a bit wrong. Yeah, yeah. during the show, before the show, I'm like a I'm like a toddler. Before something happens, it hasn't happened. You know, well, if I'm looking at someone, they exist. The minute I stop looking at someone, they don't exist anymore. <laughs> but you, know? yeah. so you do get difficult people sometimes, don't you? Not that often, because you I mean, said normally... Madonna was difficult. Well, Madonna's time. tricky because Madonna's Madonna. I mean, Madonna, and you've got to kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love Madonna, but I wouldn't want to live in her head. Did you <laughs> be Madonna? No, you know, no. And so she's had, like, you know, so many years at the top, amazing performer, amazing woman, you know, a trailblazer in so many ways, but she wants it the way she wants it. Mm, you know? yeah. So you know in she's advance. Not any other way.